My name is Steve Munson, and I am the Civil War Guru. And the day we have in here for evaluation is a real unique Confederate sword. In my opinion, it's one of the finest Confederate sword manufacturers in the South during the Civil War. The manufacturer is William J. McElroy of Macon, Georgia. What we have here is a foot officer sword that he manufactured in the early part of 1861. Now the cameraman is going to get up here and get close on it so you can see the etching on the blade and all the different aspects of this particular sword. William J. McElroy was a tinsmith and when the war came along he went from a tinsmith to a sword manufacturer. Also he worked closely with E.J. Johnson who made a very similar sword and these guys traded ideas. You see a lot of the famous Confederate generals and the, high, the higher management in the Confederacy with McElroy swords. McElroy also supplied pikes, bowie knives, leather goods, canteens. He had a real operation during the Civil War. And his swords command a high dollar. And this particular sword here, after you see it, and the evaluation on this particular sword is going to be between fifteen and twenty thousand dollars in value. So I'm going to step back and let the cameraman get up close, and you can look at all the aspects on it. And I said this was an early sword made in '61, and you'll notice that the handle is polished wood, and you also see that in the in the E.J. Johnson swords in the early ones. So this has got a few unique uh, different aspects to it. And the mounts, that's another early aspect, closely copying uh, the French swords. And if you look at the, the different mounts up close, you can see the, the erratic shape to it. You see that they're handmade and not form made. So when you look at this particular sword, you look closely, because they try to copy the, the aims up in the north. But you can see the inconsistencies in the mounts, the leathers of, of poor quality leather. And of course the brass is a poor quality brass. So once you look up and get close to it, you'll see the difference between a U.S. made sword and a sword made in the South. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and I want to thank my grandson, Brennan Cole Munson, for handling the camera work for me, and my son, Eric Munson, who does all the editing for us. So from the Civil War Guru, have a great day.
Thank you.